Uh, if people only go to church once in a while, a couple times a year, for many people, and they pastor almost never preaches on hell, which some do, you go to some mainline Protestant churches, probably for 30, 40, 50 years, never hear a sermon on hell. You go to fundamentalist Protestant churches, you probably hear about it every Sunday. And probably Sunday school, Sunday morning worship, and Sunday evening service, and probably a midweek service. And they give older, uh, they give older calls, they service to come forward to get saved before it's eternally too late. They give in prayer requests on a midweek service and a prayer meeting to praying for their loved ones and friends and relatives and co-workers to get saved before it's eternally too late. So people live in that fear and it's just awful. Uh, it's, it's a terrible way to grow up. And, and that causes many things emotionally. People uh, get burned out. They uh, may have panic disorder. That's a horrible affliction to get uh, because you may be shaking all over uh, and you may have a sense of trauma of uh, being terribly nervous, but uh, stomach upset and being nauseous. And uh, uh, just, uh, I think there's something like 14 symptoms of panic disorder listed in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. It's one of the most uh, problematic things to have, and yet it's one of the most curable things we can have when, once we understand what the problem is, what we're living in fear of, and realize that Jesus said, you'll know the truth and the truth will make you free. And there's nothing more fearful than fearing eternal torment, being tortured in literal fire forever. So if God can set you free from that, which he will, you can be set free from anything for which you're living in fear and causing panic attacks or OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, or being severely depressed. The point is that some people attempt suicide and some are successful in doing it. But if I may share something else in that regard, working as a psychotherapist in a psychiatric hospital, uh, I worked for a Christian psychiatrist and um, I did individual therapy as there were other therapists too. But the uh, psychiatrist did the group therapy and in group, and maybe if there were 15 or 20 people or so there, uh, maybe half of them had attempted suicide uh, at one point or another or some because they were in the hospital at this time had attempted suicide. And those people who had attempted suicide would ask the psychiatrist, if I had been successful in taking my life, would I have gone to hell? He always answered that question with the question. He said, do you believe that you'd gone to hell had you been successful in taking your life? And 100% of the time, people said yes. They believe they'd go to hell. So he followed that up with the question then, were you thinking about hell at the time you attempted suicide? And 100% of the time, they would say no. I was just thinking about getting out of the hell in which I'd been living.